Duncan. We're on uh, the Duncan Narrows in the, just inside of Duncan Bay and where Dennis is now showing his camera is out toward Passage Island. We just came around the point that you see to the right of the lighthouse and that was a little rough ride that generally is and we're going to work our way down into Duncan Bay and take a small portage into uh, Five Fingers Bay, work our way over to Stockley Bay, take a small portage into Lane Cove and then across Belle Isle Harbor to stay out of the lake because today the lake looks like it was pretty strong when we crossed through by Blake's Point. But this is Duncan Bay and it's a, it's a beautiful place to be. There's some shelters here. There's one there. And one over there. Total of two. <laughs> there, get away from the trees, you can see them. Okay, here we are. Uh, it's Tuesday morning. We're at Belle Isle and we came out two days ago out of that little spot over there between what those two points of land and came across from Lane Cove and brought it down into this nice little bay right here. And uh, we haven't had the camera going as much as we had wanted. Um, we were busy out doing things, looking for things to do, and sometimes the camera just wasn't with us. But uh, we want to give everybody still a good chance to see what Belle Isle is all about. It's a gorgeous little campground and we're going to take a walk around here and uh, look over the what is the old golf course. They had a nine hole golf course here in, uh, I, I'd like to believe it's the 20s or the 30s, I'm not exactly sure when it ended. But they had um, the Bell Harbor, uh, or the Bell Isle, um, I'm thinking of, it's like a restaurant, there was a restaurant and a motel here on the other side and this had the nine hole golf course, there was also a uh, a swimming pool on the other side that it claimed it actually is just a, a pond that water comes in on occasion and it's, it's got a nice soft sandy bottom and uh, this was supposedly the place for the elite back in the early days they'd come out on the big boats and pull in here and stay for a week and they were guaranteed to be asthma free and that's that's a fact I read, I read some uh, articles on that and uh, Looks like a calm day. We're thinking we might be leaving here. Uh, we don't know if we're going to put the camera on the back yet. It would probably be a good, smart move to do. Give us some good shots and head out uh, probably for the other side of the island. We're not going to get down to McCargo Cove like we originally planned because we had a lot of west winds in the last couple days. And the west winds were hard, so there's not a whole lot you can do. If you either paddle into them or you just say, I'm going to rest. And that's kind of like what we did yesterday. So we're going to take you for a walk around the campground a little bit. We'll do a little less talking by one shelter because we have one uh, neighbor and we'd like to give him his respect. But uh, we'll pan by there so you'll probably get to still see him anyway as we roll the thing by to show you the, the, the shelter that he's in. Okay, here's our canoe where we've been stashing it here to keep it out of the wind because there was quite a bit of wind last night. It seemed like the wind died down. And I think we're going to be out of here, we'll probably leave about lunchtime. But we're going to show you, this is what is known as the old Belle Isle Golf Course where the, all the shelters are. Here's our one neighbor that we've had for several days. And here's the pavilion looking straight into it now. We'll go up there, look at some old bottles that were from the Bell Harbor restaurant and inn. I think it was called an inn. And uh, but this was the original golf course that they had for kicking around during the 20s and the 30s when the rich people would come out here for their time. This is, this is the pavilion at uh, Bell, uh, Bell Harbor. On a rainy day, you can sit in here if you want and stay out of the rain. You can cook and then come on over here and look at some of the old bottles from 
the 1930s, and there's even a canteen probably from the 1990s. <laughs> and uh, I like this always, the old moonshine jug. I thought that was pretty nifty. This looks like an old wine bottle of some kind. Here, look at that. Moose bones. Always interesting to see moose bones. Beer bottles and a melted Bacardi. <laughs> Let's see what else. A bunch of steel here. How do you like this for a nail? <laughs> that ain't a nail in that house, eh? Yep. This is where you sit when there's nothing else to do. Build a fire and there's even firewood cut here for by some park service member. Thank you. Okay, this is our campsite on Belle Isle. Similar to all the other shelters that you've seen everywhere else, including the one you already have seen at Merritt Lane. But this is where we've been spending the last couple days, just not too far from the Bell Harbor Inn, which doesn't exist anymore. But anyway, that's what we're up against, and uh, this is where we're staying, and I think uh, if everything works out, we're moving on toward the Duncan Narrows and see if we can take a look at the other side. Now we're heading down to the Bell Isle Harbor Dock. This is where all the boaters come in. It's not a place for canoers or kayakers to come in because not only is the water too low, but the, the dock is extremely high to start with. It's a okay, now we're coming down to the Bell Isle Dock. And we'll get out on the dock, we'll even be able to show you the sign. Not a big deal, but it's a sign. And this is the dock, and this dock can hold some pretty darn big boats and quite a few. And because the water's down right now, they used to be able to put boats in down in this area, but I've seen boats dock down in the area, but not anymore. But we've got a westerly wind right now. This is, it's not a bad wave action at all. And I would say it's gonna build by noon a little, but it'll be in our direction. If we're going to take the portages, we'll do real fine, I think, as far as getting back into the narrows. Everything's going to flow with us. We'll go fast, eh, Dan? Yeah. We'll, we'll cut down this shore real quick. And we'll look at the map a little better, make some decisions when we get back, see how it comes. Okay, that house over there is Anderson's house. Actually, uh, the, the island, though, is named Johnson's Island. It gets confusing. Because we were at Johnson's family home on the Mikuloid Island yesterday. And that's Anderson's home. 